Hi, oh, yeah. So um, it's Sunday here today, and um, we've just gotten back from Mass, and I just wanted to do a video because um, it was quite an emotional time, and um, I just kind of wanted to do the video while the emotion was still kind of fresh. But yeah, so we went to Mass, and it was a normal Mass, like like a Catholic church, so it was normal, like at home. But the whole place was absolutely chock a block filled with people, and. Um, like the first thing that I saw, noticed was that just the singing was just amazing. Like it was just like, you know, like just got right into your heart kind of a thing. Um, but the, the, I don't know what happened to me. I had a little moment while I was in mass because, um, Sorry, sorry, got myself together. <laughs> okay, so um, they do the offering and they donate money like we do at home. And the difference was at home, um, you know, I don't know how much gets donated, but what you hear, you stand up and, um, and go and put money into a basket. And I think every single person in that place stood up and put money in the basket. But that wasn't what kind of got me. It was when um, they did the offertory, offertory procession and um, all these kids bring in, um, do the offertory, and they kind of dance their way up the up the um, up the aisle, and they they bring the the bread and the wine and all that. And then, but they also bring food. So, you know, the people were bringing in loaves of bread and um, watermelons and, um, you know, just all these, whatever, you know, flour and things like that to also bring to the, you know, it's the offertory. And Jacinda was telling me that, that the places like the Rangala Babies Home get divvied up between all the offerings and the food and the money and everything and it gets divvied up between all those places like that. Anyway, in the offertory, um, they have these little girls and they dance in the in the aisle while they're taking up the offertory and then they stay there for the, the you know, most of the rest of the mass dancing and the music was like, the only thing I can describe it was, you know, like the music out of um, The Lion King, the happy music where it's all very, you know, uplifting and happy and it was like that and then they've got these little girls dancing in the aisles and it just really struck me that these people that were here at the mass were probably really really poor and yet they were giving everything that they could give and they were so happy like I couldn't I don't know I just got really emotional about it and I got a real lump in my throat I'm not sure what I'm emotional about. I don't know if I'm sad for them or happy for them or what, but it really did affect me. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to kind of, because it's really on my mind, that these people are so giving and so gracious and yet they might not have even eaten this morning but they're going to mass and they're in their Sunday best clothes and it might be their only other outfit other than their school uniform or their you know work clothes or whatever but yet they're there and they're so they're such amazing people anyway on the way we walked home from mass and on the way home there's a there's a, another baby's home that's on the way home from mass towards Jacinda's house and it's just up the road and it's a it's a fully funded one that's run by Americans so they've got a lot of money but they're completely reliant on donations again and but it was similar to Rangala but it was like a funded one that's been looked after so you kind of you know it's like almost like a hospital well not like a hospital but they had two um, they had three little babies that they got from the hospital um, yesterday so one was two weeks old one was Two, two months and one was four months and they'd, they'd been abandoned by mothers um, and then been taken to hospital and so they then take them in um, so that was an, an interesting way of looking at another like a place that's actually fully funded unlike poor old Sister Mary Esther um, this place is fully funded and it's it looks after disabled children and um, all the babies are very well looked after and very well fed but again they're all reliant on donations and what Jacinda is so worried about is that, you know, there's only so much that people will donate. And 
um, yeah, it's going to be going to come a time when that money's going to run out, and then what will they do? And these Kenyans, you know, these people fundraising, you know, and, and creating all these charitable donations in the background, and the Kenyans maybe that are working there might not even know the, the efforts that they're going to, to to do that. So it's not really helping the problem. But anyway, so um, I've had lots and lots of people talk to me on Facebook about um, what it's like here and um, what I'm eating and, um, you know, what the cost of living and things like that. So I'm going to do a separate post on that because um, I, I've been really shocked at the cost of living here. So, you know, you can go down to um, get a corn on the cob from the market and it costs you 10 cents. But for, to, for me to walk into the supermarket and buy milk... It's, you know, it's very similar price to home. So the people, it's okay for me that's here because I've got my money and everything, my Australian dollars. But, you know, for people who are earning and, you know, working here and living here that are on, you know, the cost of milk could be their whole wage for the day. So it's um, a very a massive difference in prices to things. Um, so it's not that cheap um, for, uh, for normal things. Um, but yeah, I might just do some blog posts and stuff on that and then, um, because there's so much I want to talk about in all that stuff as well. Alright, well I hope you have had a nice Sunday and, um, I'll check in with you again soon. See you guys.